in the wide, wide world of sports is going on here? I don't know what it is, but it's phenomenal. All right, people, we're going to try something a little different today. I cannot solve your problem, sir. Only you can. Am I missing something? You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Don't mess with the bull, young man. You'll get the horns. The reality is, humans are humans are humans, and that's never going to end. No, I do mind. Uh, the dude minds. This will not stand. It's a big, big deal. Hello! Do you speak English, sir? Paulo usted English? Sixty percent of the time, it works every time. I've done the math on this. We've talked about it on this show before. That's a fact. You'll learn a little something about yourself. That's us, dude. That's why we're radio shows. That's right. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street. and There's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do, and there's no end to it. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to ride. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about inflation and the Russians and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. Let's do this. Discussing issues that matter to you. Finding real answers using logic and reason. KLZ 560 presents Rush to Reason. Now, here is your host, John Rush. All right, Rush to Reason, Denver's Afternoon Rush, KLZ 560. Time for the Monday Mortgage Minute. Kurt Rogers, Affordable Interest Mortgage. What's going on, sir? How are you, John? I am doing very well. And actually, interestingly enough that you should actually call about now, I had a question from... A listener, by the way, that actually said, don't ask me why I got this text message, but after you close on a new house, when's the first mortgage payment due? Normally, uh, if you close on the 10th of the month, let's say you close between the the 2nd and the 30th of the month, it's going to be not the following month, but the month after. Okay. If you close on on the 1st of the month, and they backdate it, it will be closed the next day. But normally, you're going to be minimum 30 days to as much as 59 days later before your payments do. 30 to 59 days. Now, you are still essentially paying, but that's all part of your closing costs and such, right? It's all part of your closing costs and and figured into your day's interest when you do the loan. Okay, but you you do not have to physically write that check for the payment until then. That is correct. Okay, great. All right, what's going on in the market right now? Well, uh, we've talked about this before, about how a lot of people are starting to look at their, their loans that they had six months, a year ago, year and a half ago, that were paying mortgage insurance and how to get out of it. And you could actually keep lower the rate and get rid of the mortgage insurance. Okay. What do you so think? That's, that's a beneficial. But what we started recently is we just started the All About You event. Okay. It's anyone that does a loan with us gets $300 after the loan closes for either Home Depot or Bed Bath & Beyond or Lowe's. Okay. And then your name gets put into a drawing. At the end of the event, one of our clients will receive $1,000 cash, either three nights in Breckenridge or 55-inch TV. Right on. Oh, man, this sounds like a great, yeah, great nothing, deal. Nothing wrong with that. Of course, John's trying to figure out how he can get that card to Bed Bath & Beyond. That's exactly well, right. He's we'll trying to figure this out. i to you for Target in case you want to buy school supplies for your kids. <laughs> I'm the Bed Bath & Beyond guy. Yeah, John, John's all about Bed Bath & Beyond. Me and Charlie. Yep. Yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, it's just our way of saying thank you to clients hmm. at this time of year with school going back. Right. People getting in back into the fall. It's a good idea to have a little bit of money to spend around your yeah, house. Makes sense. Okay, question. And I think you know where this is probably coming from. But what do you think the market's going to do over the next year? Do you think, uh, here in Colorado, do you think prices are going to stay fairly flat, go up, go down? Does it depend on the range of the house? What are your thoughts? Um, I believe prices are going to continue to go up. They've been rising at about 8% a year. I think they'll probably settle at around 6 And I think one of the – there's just too, too much demand for houses that they got to keep going, but they're going to settle some. Um, I think you're seeing a lot of the lower-income houses being finished, which is really what we need to, to get some of the, the, the workers out there that support some of the other workers. We need that, and those homes are starting to be finished, so that's going to help okay. leave some of the demand. And I okay. think rates are going to make homes settle a little bit. They're probably going to move from under four to just over four for the next five, six months. Okay, go ahead. Okay, hey, Kurt, uh, you and I are going to be on Haystack Health Radio tomorrow for Your Money Matters. What are we going to be talking about? Well, we're going to have, as you know, Tony Spurlock, 
uh, the chief of police for the Douglas County. Um, yeah, he's actually just the to sheriff. Have him on the show, explain yeah, some actually... of the things the police officers do. It's going to yeah. be a great show. Yeah, he's we the got, Douglas County nice sheriff. Yeah. yeah, he's sheriff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Sounds great, Kurt. How do folks get a hold of you? Seven two zero eight nine five zero five hundred, or then go to our website. AIMortgage.net. All right, Kurt Rogers, Affordable Mortgage Mortgage. Thanks, man. Have a great week.